Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we're going to review amazing scanner here, guys, that we uh, purchased for the shop because we always work on cars, guys. We always need more OBD2, so we always, always add more, guys. Uh, this is not very expensive, too, but what you can do, guys, you can actually read and delete codes from the engine computer. You can, guys, read and delete codes from the airbag computer and from the ABS and traction control computer. Super helpful, too, guys. You can actually do battery testing, alternator testing, reset uh, engine oil indicator and all that stuff guys stay with us we're going to cover all that now quick introduction guys uh, this product is purchased by us it's not a sponsored video it's purchased by us guys it's amazing okay amazing product uh, in my opinion so this is it that what it comes with it's made by innova you can see in irvine california that's a big plus guys comes with that case that is amazing and we're going to put it to the test we'll test the, a uh, the airbag capability and the engine computer capability as well comes with the sheet there it explains everything you need to know guys and how to use it as well now all we have to do go ahead and uh, connect okay connect that port you need to secure the guys push it all the way in okay and install install the pins just get them tight you want to make sure that you do that so you don't lose communication and Okay, once all that is done guys, you have one key right here that you turn it on, you power it on. You can see it even has a little LED light where you connect it to the OBD port. So let us show you guys what we will be doing now. We'll open the hood of that Dodge guys. And uh, what we'll do first, okay, we'll attempt guys to actually disconnect the front left airbag sensor. Okay, always have your car battery disconnected when you work on airbags at least one hour before messing with them guys because those things can kill you. So what i'm going to do this is a front left crash airbag sensor sometimes it's known as satellite airbag sensor as well so i'm going to go ahead and disconnect it perfect then we're going to disconnect guys okay uh, we're going to disconnect um let me see ignition coil guys ignition coil oh let's let's do an oxygen sensor oxygen sensor is good too okay this is upstream oxygen sensor right here so you can go ahead and disconnect it as well okay this one is a little bit uh hard to reach on this side so okay let me see where the connector went actually for that sensor okay guys it's disconnected like the sensor is burned so with these two things in mind guys we want to see if that scanner now will be able to tell us guys okay what's wrong with the car so let's find out now First guys, I'm going to start the vehicle, okay, before I even <coughs> connect it to the OBD port or anything like that. I want to start the vehicle, I even turn the light off so you can see the lights on the dash clearly. And check it out now guys, okay, at first everything's good, right? No lights, airbag light comes back on, okay, check it out, airbag light comes back on. And after running for a little bit, okay, the oxygen sensor should be detected by the computer that it's not present and here you should get a light engine light guys and uh, we're going to rev it up just for a little bit never ever diagnose the car with the engine running inside your garage always have it outside unless you have a proper ventilation system for the exhaust gases guys so okay we're going to give it a little bit of time for the uh, engine light to come back on so let me reconnect it guys okay let me restart it check it out now engine light stays on okay after we turn it off engine light is on so what we're going to do now okay to diagnose it pretty simple guys i'm going to turn the ignition back off now we're going to turn the ignition on with the engine not running we're going to get the scanner here we're going to activate it so we can see the obd led light we're going to find the obd port of that vehicle guys okay and uh, obd port okay it's actually right here okay check it out it's connected uh on your vehicle most of the times okay will be somewhere under the steering wheel most of the times guys somewhere there you can find it now it asks us guys automatically okay if this is the correct vehicle dodge we say yes it is guys and what do we have oxygen sensor one one heater circuit hi guys what that means now guys okay it means one one sensor one means sensor one bank one if you have a four cylinder engine you have only one bank because you have one 
cylinder here guys if you have a v6 you have two banks if you have a straight six you have two banks even though you have one cylinder head but and that means that oxygen sensor upstream oxygen sensor is not performing right guys now uh, you have uh, more here codes that you can it tells you uh, repair immediately if drivability issues are present okay and we have more codes okay the same code right there pending and this is other codes that we have that we need to address here now something else guys let's check it out here if you click that button s you can check the abs system srs system that's uh, the airbag system and uh, specific dodge codes now we'll go to srs click enter and check out what we have it asks us if this is the correct one 2015 with the 2.4 engine we select yes this is the correct information it's loading now and it's going to take just a little bit of, a little bit of time to actually detect all that and check out what we have lost communication with upfront left satellite sensor guys so definitely guys a problem right there u0170 guys 00 that's an active code active means that it's act, uh, it's uh, present at the moment of the scanning and the airbag light will be on so as you can see guys okay that uh, that little computer was able to tell us all that now the question is if we guys reconnect everything let's say we replace that stuff let's see if it's going to actually clear the lights and if everything will come back so that's what we're doing now opening the hood and we'll go ahead okay turn the ignition off we're going to reconnect everything again if you work on airbag systems always disconnect the car battery at least one hour before connecting or uh, disconnecting sensors so we're going to reconnect the oxygen sensor and now we're going to reconnect the airbag sensor okay all the way in now i want to go inside and we want to see if actually okay okay if actually that will uh, take care now of our problem okay so let me see where i left the key now so with the key being inserted i'm going to turn the ignition switch back on okay ignition switch is back on and now guys we're going to attempt okay to clear all these codes so what do we do here now okay we're going to click erase we confirm okay let me just reposition here perfect erase was successful now we're going to go to dtc uh, to system right here no no airbag codes anymore we're going to go to uh, obd reading this is the engine light so we need to attempt to reset that now we're going to click erase erase was successful now what we're going to do we're going to restart the car and check it out now guys we don't have any lights at all okay that definitely guys took care of that so that little bitty computer guys okay very affordable computer was able to tell us what's wrong with that car and we were able to fix it with no problem hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to uh, find a good scanner for a good price thank you for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time